me. Oh. Good evening, everybody. How is everybody doing today? Um, so let me move some stuff because I'm sort of crowded by that. Um, I have a special guest on with me tonight. I'll wait for some of you ladies to come in before I say who. And I've got to be really excited to show everyone. I'm so excited, but I don't know whether I've lost it now. Gold six. I lost it. Come out. Oh, there you are. Good evening, Sarah. Good evening, Dee Dee. Good evening, Pauline, sweetheart. Good evening, everybody. Um, so you'll notice about now I would have somebody in chat saying hello to everyone. Um, but she is non chat. Where are you? I'm here. <laughs> well, that's Miss Paisley's voice. I will. Good morning, everybody. Morning. Did you say morning? morning. Clean up. I will flicker over to Angie just for you to see her desk and what um which what it looks like each side. Because I'm excited to show you. I just I just got all excited and I went. Are you getting excited for? I went because I've just figured something out. <laughs> Well, show me that. I said, can't. It's a secret. Hello, everybody. Hello, Sarah, Dee Dee, Pauline. Yay. I'm just going to put my thing on mute, my phone. It should flicker over to Angie any minute. I'm hoping that YouTube isn't going to be slow tonight. Um, Good evening. Good evening to you all. Um, It's not flicking over to you, Angie. Why is it not flicking over to you? Uh, I don't know. Don't like me. Make a sack. Dee Dee's buried in her first Harry Potter book. Does that mean you're reading it? I've never read it. Ah, there we are. Never... Ah, you sure? I think so. Hangouts changed, so she you should be able to see Angie's desk. You've never re read? Oh, there we are. There you are. I miss Peter. Yeah. There you are. Everybody can see your hands. You've never read Harry Potter books, Angie. No. Um, Harry Potter's amazing. I watched the films. I I must admit, I'll miss some. I'll admit something to you all. I, Hello, I can fan. see me now. Everybody can see you. I'm a big Harry Potter fan. Although I've watched all the films, and I don't know how many times I've watched them. Prisoner of Azkaban is my favourite one of them all. But every time I've gone to read the books, I've always fallen asleep. Always, even I, I'm near on audio, I've always fallen asleep, so I can't tell you what the books read, but I can oh. tell you. <laughs> Did you watch the films? I watched the films back to front, inside out, right? Okay, I've never read the books, but I have. Um, Sarah says, I've got a Harry Potter studio tour on my planner to do this oh, year. Sarah, can I come? I would love to go to Harry Potter studio. I'll come with you, Sarah. Oh, it made my dream. They've got one over in Florida, Disney, and they've got one in London. And the one in London, you're supposed to go on the, um, what they call him? Not wands. It's not broomsticks. What are they called? Nym Nympus 1000. Nympus 2000, sorry. So what, what's that? That's like their... Um... Like their, broom, like their broomstick? Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Oh, right. I know. That's what it's called. The flying yeah. stick. <laughs> anyway, me and Miss Paisley, I visited Florida when I knew this little, so just London's when to do. Oh, my word, Sarah. <laughs> oh, oh. An amazing time. I want to see lots of pictures when you go and visit. Um, so, me and Miss Paisley, we're not doing Harry Potter tonight. Are we, Ange? 
No, Harry Potty, more like Ar than Harry Potter. It's not Angie Singh to talk Harry Potter. She likes Harry Potter's films. I don't think you would ever, well, never say never, but I don't think Angie would make anything Harry Potter world. But never I give it a go. Yeah. I helped my granddaughter make a wand once and she made it with a chopstick and some um, hot glue and she did that all around the wand and then she painted it. Wow. So she did make a wand. It came out quite good, actually. Oh, my word. Yeah. Well, me and Ms. Paisley are doing ephemera for a journal. Um, we've got some ideas floating around. I was going to do some videos, been asked to do like numerous videos on how do I do this ephemera? How do I do that? And I thought, do you know what? Let's just do a live. And anything I've made ephemera wise, you've all seen me doing the pages for the six way swap. Um, so anything I've made for that or anything I've got in my mind will be put in this live. I know um, Angie's been working on watching journals and ephemera and things because we've got something on the group at the moment. Everybody's nagging me for the pages. They are going out next week, though. But, yeah, so we've been working on the same thing, really, haven't we, Ange? Yeah, we have, yeah. Been just this. experimenting. Yeah, just different paths and different ways, but the same sort of thing. So, um, are you going to start off with some envelopes? What are you starting yes. with? Oh, sorry, are you talking to me? Yeah, what are you sorry. starting off with? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to I'm going to make some uh, a file folder. Oh, I I've got a template which I got on the back of um, my Graphic Forty Five. Yeah. So I'm going to cut, cut out a couple of those and then probably decorate them up. But the first step is to obviously cut them out. So that's what I'm going to be doing first because this right. is the template. I don't want to use this. No, oh, because once you've used it once, you haven't got it again. That's right. right. Well, I um, the pages I'm using, so Angie's starting off with a file folder. I'm just going to cut my envelope out. But the pages I'm using have come from either Artie Maze so Artie Mays is on YouTube. Her link to her YouTube channel is in the description bar below. She's also got a shop. Um, not only that, but there's a ton of amazing freebies on her shop that you can download and reuse, and it's absolutely amazing. So go on over to that. The link is in the description bar. And the other one I'm using is Lorna's shop, which is Taylor's Made Journals, I should think then. Um, so I'm using some of her papers too. Oh. So gonna, uh, what papers are you are you using? Graphic Forty Five, or are you using? Um, I got a, an assortment of all different ones I downloaded off of Etsy, and if when I use them, if I remember it was because I'm terrible with names. Um, I have got some from uh, Mrs. Cox. I got some from Artie Mays. Um, Oh goodness me! I'm trying to think. I, I, some recent ones I've downloaded, but I can't. Uh, some at Mirage, I think they were called. I can't remember now. Well, when, if you're doing it, let me know, and I can put the, the link in the description bar. Yeah, I'd have to go onto my ex Etsy and see where I bought them from. Okay. All right. So don't be able to put the links in. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this now. I'm gonna cut out my file folder. Are you going back over to you now? Yeah, I will in a second. I'm just going to cut right, it. It's a simple envelope, so it's not need for measurements. Are I'm you sure. making the envelope or are you? Yeah, making it. Wow. Have you got an envelope maker? No, making it offhand. Oh, I'd like to see that. Um, It's not. For some people, no, Harry Potter isn't for everyone, and I know that. Um, but I get so excited when a new film comes out. It's like Harry Potter's come on. You, you do love Harry Potter, don't you? If I'm not feeling well, Harry Potter will be my film that I stick on. Oh, yeah. This is like no Harry Potter again, please. <laughs> No, I, I just came across the film once, the very first one. Once I've got all the films on DVD. All right, I, 
I started watching it and I thought, oh my God, this is amazing. What a brilliant film. Well, obviously, I didn't read the books because they looked a bit thick for me. Well, I did try and read the book. Chris even put it on, um, what they call it, Audible? Audio, yeah. Yeah. Right. I, I do the food too. I'm falling asleep. I do. I fall asleep to things like that. It's a good way to get to sleep, actually. It is. Because it is relaxing reading a book. I love reading books. But Harry Potter, I haven't read the book. I have tried, but I haven't managed to do it. Love Artie May, she does great digital kits. She does, Sarah, you are right. I'm going to flip her over to me, and right, um, She does. She does amazing kits. She absolutely, she's got freebies on her channel, which I'm going to show you what I've downloaded in a second. Um, but, yeah, she, she would be amazing to... Um, even I think as well is to, is to do sometimes with their kits, they're amazing, but it's to do with your printer as well. And I I spent a fortune went and got some matte paper, um, some of this matte pa photo paper. I spent an absolute fortune on it, and my printer didn't want to know it. It's just like, I'm not I'm not printing on that. Hi, Lisa, sweetheart. Hi, Lisa. Oh, so who's what? that? You, did you change your printer then, Ange? No, no. I've just, it's just, I think it's because it's thick. It doesn't want to know it. Doesn't want to know it. No. And if it's too thin, it doesn't want to know it. It's just like, I don't know. So I'm going to start off with a real simple envelope. Like I say, no measurements required. This is just a page out of a book. So what I tend to do is flip it up and leave about a quarter of the page on the top. That's a sort of a Who's the Bristolian collect tonight? I am. I'm ah. a <laughs> it's Angie. Oh, you How are you doing? <laughs> it's Angie. I wish I could. I, I can't do accents, but I wish I could just to say it was me, but no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, sometimes a bit of Bristolian do come out, but I'm not very good with Welsh, so. Oh. Ach, I can be, in it. That's Welsh. Yeah. My gran used to say that. And something's horrible. Or... Uh, yeah, Ach, I which means That's all I know. So, folding the sides. I'm only folded near in about half an inch each side. And then you want to fold this up. And I can't say hello, lady with clap. Leave a call. Oh, up. it's Angie. Angie Paisy. I, I am. Oh. I am the one and only. Right. So sweetheart. Yes, it's it's Miss Paisy. You can pass saying hello to everybody, but she's on live with me tonight. <laughs> and she got put with me clowning about tonight, haven't you? <laughs> Are we back on you now? Oh, good. Go on, then. Your turn. All right, and cut these out like a V shape when you folded it into those little score lines when you folded it up. And then this becomes then your little tabs to fold your envelope up. Now it's totally up to you, but what I do at the top tab, this is going to be the bottom, I cut them off. And the reason I cut them off is because I find it a bit too clumpy when I got them folded together. So that's your first is the envelope. And every time you do it, you always get different sizes. So that's why I mean there is no set size. I think this one's a little bit bigger. Just depends on what the pages you've used, depends on how much further you've gone up the book. Just it all depends. And then you fold it over, and then that is two envelopes. Now, I have been pressing flowers. I've been pressing flowers for ages now. And it's something that I, when I go out, I press flowers. <laughs> Stop press when he's walking. It's not a flower over there. Just pick it up. Just pick it up, Chris. I want to press it. Same thing down the bottom of the garden the other day to pick our rose plant because I wanted the roses off it. <laughs> oh my word. 
You've been pressing flowers, haven't you, Ange? I have, yeah. I pressed a few from out the garden. Um, they're not quite crunchy. You said they had to be crunchy, didn't you? They can be soft. Otherwise, if they're soft, they'll, um, they're too brittle. Yeah, my petunia was a bit floppy last night, wasn't it? Was it last night or night before? Last night, I think. Lisa said she thought you were sewing tonight, Colette. Ah, oh, to make um, so I have got something to show you actually on Sarah's. Um, do you mean this? Um, Sarah's cover. I have got something to show you on Sarah's cover. I am doing a little bit of sewing, but I'm not doing sewing this week. I'm going to pick it back up next week. But I have been working on it, so I have got something to show you. Oh, that's nice. Um, and Sarah said you made them so quickly. I'm I'm there for hours making envelopes. Yeah, oh. she did. Make Quick, didn't she? I would just show us how you, how did you make it? You just folded it up. Just folded it up. I don't mess about because envelopes are so difficult. I just think, oh, do you know what? Anything, anything that's easy. Right, these are my new stamps I bought recently. Um, this one is a corner one. So does that. You all see that? So I'm gonna do I'm gonna ink all that now all the way around and I'm gonna do my corner stamp on that side as well. And then um I will be back with you. I'm gonna flick her over to Angie so you can see what she's up to while I'm inking and just stamp the corners out. These are uh, Martha Stewart stamps as well. So um they stamps I bought recently off Shilpa, who is Craft Angel Online on on YouTube. YouTube. Colette loves her origami. Yes, I do, don't I, Ange? Yeah, she does. Especially swans. <laughs> if anybody doesn't know what I'm going on about. Yeah. Well, then tell them. <laughs> we had a challenge on Facebook where it was called Inspiration from Me to You. So basically, it was something that um i sent the ladies a video they had to make a scent but put their own spin on it and the choices you had was whatever you sent us. us fabric or paper so well, angie was sewing uh, that was it angie specifically said she wanted sewing i want sewing she said um really enjoying my sewing as well <laughs> so i sent everybody's videos over and I know if I speak to Angie, I can never get away with um, winding her up because she can tell immediately by my face that I'm winding yeah. her up. So I thought, I can't tell her. I'm going to have to type it. <laughs> I'm going to have to type this, see, see if she believes me or not. Well, you sent me a video, <laughs> didn't you? Sent her a video of the uh, swan origami. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is your challenge and i've been thinking what you could do is you could add some like fabric and you could add some ribbon to make it into sewing and i was I when was, i got it i couldn't believe it when i got it i was looking and i was seeing opened it up and this there was this man i think it was and he was going what you do is you cut all these pieces of paper and i'm watching it and i'm thinking this is not sewing <laughs> and I thought, no, I'll go with it. I'll carry on watching. So I carried on watching it. And he's going, yeah. And you make twenty five thousand of these pieces of paper, <laughs> and you put them all together, and this is what you make. And it was a swan <laughs> out of thousands of pieces of paper. And I'm thinking, she's <laughs> real. So I sent a message. Said, um, um, uh, <laughs> this is. I didn't. This is not really sewing. Do you know what I mean? I was wondering if I could have something different because I'm not sure if this would hold my interest. <laughs> I, I don't uh, know for that one, big time. <laughs> How can I add so into this? Well, what I was thinking, Andy, you can add fabric and you could add ribbon. And she sent me back. Can I, um, is it possible? Very polite. Is it possible? Right, so another video, please. <laughs> right, what we got? Hello, Carla. How are you? Hi, Carla. Lisa's saying, Taps are uh, taps out in SOS. Can anybody hear me? Hang on. What's she been saying? Oh. I don't I know. Get out while you can. 
get out of the challenge while they still can. Oh yeah, yeah. It was um, it was funny, my runner. It was it was funny. Yeah, and then she said, she said, perhaps perhaps you'd like to do this one. I said, yeah, that one's a bit bare. But she was obviously she had another one in in ready for me. Oh, I did. Well, let's keep it going. We right, so I, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, we're on you. Um, but I've obviously I've made the folder. Um, that was the template. So I've made two, and now what I'm going to do, I don't know what I'm going to do actually. I might um, try. I better cover it with some paper, aren't I? If you want to try? Yeah. So I'm not. I'm not doing the traditional um vintage photo or what's the other one tea dye or anything like that i'm doing my i'm doing my pink pink a dink my favorite color so i'm gonna ink around the edges with me pink a dink and then i'm going to cover it cover it all over and then i'm going to decorate it i'll do the other one with um antique photo whatever it is what was it called antique photo vintage vintage photo what's the other one called walnut stain or something isn't it? yes the british walnuts are cracking us up again <laughs> ah more like donuts yes vintage photo or walnut stain is the, is the tool isn't it another one as well i i'm trying to think what it's called but. Anyway, my pink one, which I use all the time, is called Worn Lipstick, and it's the oxide. And I, I got a reinker for it as well because I love this colour. It's my favourite of all the pink ones that he does. Oh, Tim, how are you getting on with Tim these days, Colette? Oh, well, he hasn't been in touch with me recently. Oh, giving me a bit of a break because he said his new coming out and something. He's a cold shoulder, is he? No, his new things are coming out in September, and he said, "Look, Clay, know how much I love the new things. So you may as well not get the things out now. Get them in September when they come out." And I said, "All right, that's, 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 that's especially for Angie." <laughs> <laughs> right. In my breath, Bristolian accent. Don't feed the pigeons. That's especially for Angie. Oh. Thank you, Lisa. I I have no idea what 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 you mean by it, but yeah, I'll get it. Eventually, it'll, the penny will drop. I'll have a light bulb moment in a minute. Right, I'm going to flick it back over to me in a second. Okay. Um, this is not very interesting, is it? Watching me. Right, let me flick it over to me. I am doing, like I said, I'm doing envelopes to begin with. While Angie's inking her file folder, file folder. Um, you should flick it back over to me now. Right, I do have. There we are. I do have. Right, what I've done is I've inked all around my edges, and I've cut the corners out, which you can see with this punch. Um, the Martha Stewart punch. So that's what I've done. So oh. now this is vellum, and I'm going to use some dried petals and do a bit of a, a twisted envelope. Right. So what I'm going to do is line. You want to line the edges up. If you don't, all you'll have on your envelope. Is the front which i've just done the mistake of doing and then your flaps won't have any of the vellum on and then there's a reason why i want the vellum on the flaps because it's not even though it's an envelope it's not going to be a closed envelope it's going to more like be an open envelope that you can write in it rather than doing something inside it does that make any sort of sense hi deborah sweetheart Hello, hello, Deborah. Oh, I understand now, Lisa. They say over the loudspeaker at Temple Mead Station. Do they? I didn't know that. Ah, don't very often travel by train. Right. I'm going to line this 
Let me bring you down a little bit. And if anybody's wondering um, who Deborah is, Deborah is River on YouTube. Yeah. Because I know last week everybody got a bit confused. I said, hi, Deborah. And everyone's like, who's Deborah? Who's Deborah? So I'm just marking my snippets out of my vellum. Just roughly, not being too neat for them. Okay. And then go ahead and cut that out. Um, one, two. Okay, you can use Teddy again. Off he goes. <coughs> right. So that now is my envelope. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press those corners again on my pen. I usually, do, I don't know whether any, but do you do this, Ange, where you tip the, where you tip the uh, paper or something upside down so you can see the other side? Um, was it just me? What do you mean, what? Well, direct for the paper what, the writing is that what you mean yeah instead of you stamping it like some people stamp it like that and can perfectly do it i can't i've got to turn it as stamp the other way and punch it down yes yes i do do that do do i do 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 this one's a little bit off i'm not worrying about it too much um i got this one Oh, right okay so now i've got all that now you can use any pages this is just old pages from an old book all i'm going to do now is i'm going to sew down here oh, let me show you on the page i'm going to sew down there up down across like a, a rectangle and then i'm going to sew on these folds so i'm going to do it with the vellum on top and I'm going to leave the bottom open. So so all the run, leave the bottom open. Um, so I'm going to put some dry petals in. So let me show you the sewing. Um, let me flick back over to Angie. I'm going to do the sewing and then I'm going to come back to me to see you see what I've done. It does get a little bit confusing. I was going to say, I'm, I didn't understand Quite. a word of that. Like, yeah. I do those and make envelopes out of wax paper. Oh, wow, Dee, did you know? What's, what's wax paper? Is that like grease with paper? Wax paper is actually I got some beside me so I can show you now. Wax paper is thinner than vellum. And I bought mine from the range. Oh. Yeah. I'm doing my first craft fair of the season tomorrow, Lisa is. Wow. What about Lisa? Oh, I knew right? you said you were going to be busy with that. Yeah, good luck. I've, I've had terrible, um, I've had terrible time to craft fairs. Do you remember you made all, it was the last year you before? It was the year before, wasn't it? The last year, and or was it the year before? I can't remember. Well, you made all the last craft, craft fair. Yeah, nobody turned up. It was great. Was it last year or year before when nobody turned up? Last, I think it was last year. Oh, I think it was the year before. Oh, Tim Muff. Oh, lovely. I know Tim Muff. Me and Tone went down there and um, we went to, it was quite funny actually, my my cousin's got a guest house in Torquay and obviously you can get on the train and go down to um, Tor, Tor Bay and Timmouth and all that lot and we got on the train and we, we'd gone to Tor Bay I think and then we were going to go further down. Um, we got on the wrong train and we ended up in Plymouth. <laughs> 
<laughs> Only you, and Yeah. So we had, we got off that train and got on the, the, the express train and came back, come back to Torquay. So we, all we spent the whole afternoon on the train. Didn't see anything. Oh, my word. Well, you've got on the wrong train. But if you get off the train and get straight on the one back to Tim, uh, Tor Torquay, we'll, um, no, that was Dawlish Warren. Yeah, we were staying in Dawlish Warren when we went to Plymouth. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is yeah, really what a lovely afternoon that was. Is it Plymouth way? Well, Plymouth is right at the end of the line. Oh, I see. Mm. Right, I've flickered back over to me. Now, I've sewn three sides. So I've sewn up, cross, and down. Don't sew the flaps open. They're just there because you can use something on this to make it a little bit more prettier. But sew up, sew cross, and down. And I've done it in a little bit just to keep those um, stitches secure. Now I'm going to take my dried flowers and I'm going to stick some in. So I have, oh, 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 actually, oh, um, oh. I might have the flowers. This is how I dry my flowers. I do use my flower press, but I also use a really old book. And I use this to press my flowers. And I have some. Oh, I've got some in here. I might use them. These are from my garden. Uh, Dee Dee wants to know how, long, um, how far. How far what? How far Dawlish is from? How from far Pilar? is that from Pilar? Well, so now, how, where is it, Ange? Uh, it's, it's down Torquay Way, Devon. Down Torquay. Right, so, yeah, it's about an, an two hours, Dee Dee. Yeah, it's about, it's about two hours for us to get to Torquay. Yeah, for, for depending on if you've updated your sat-nav, because we ended up, on, well, the sat-nav told us that we were in a field. We were to, we didn't I didn't update the map, so we were driving in the field. It wasn't, it was a flyover obviously, but I hadn't updated the map, so I was like, Tom, we're in a field. <laughs> oh my god. Like, oh my oh, goodness. Like oh, we went on our anniversary, I was telling Angie yesterday. Oh no, yeah. Go on, then. I have actually got right because I bought some postcards and I've got a picture of where I drew. I've got I've, where I drove. I've got to show you because I didn't show Angie yesterday. I only came across it today, and I was like, "Oh, that's where we drove." So we went to Tembe for our anniversary, um, which was roughly about an hour and a half drive away from us. And um, Chris has never been to Tembe. I've been there as a little girl. Um, we used to go on little holidays as a little girl. And so I sort of know where I'm going, ish, kind of. Um, so we went. And I said to Chris, I said, I don't care what we do, but I've got to take you to Tenby Town. <laughs> so I take him to Tenby Town. And um, he said, oh, there's a park. And bear in mind, we had the sat-nav on. And she was going straight ahead, straight ahead, straight ahead, straight ahead. <laughs> so then Chris said, oh, there's a parking spot by there. And he parked in. Excuse me, excuse me. What? Um, you're parking in my residential parking spot. You, There's a parking spot down by there. And I'm like, oh, my God. All right, no. okay, I move the car. I move the car. And she said, oh, if you go down there, there's a parking spot down there. So anyway, off-site drives down this road. Oh, my goodness. Here it comes. <laughs> down this road, and Chris is going, stop! I went, mean, why? Why am I stopping for you? He went, the road is disappearing. We're going to land in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you mean? His side, there was a 50 drop to the boat so we could land it in the boat's his side and there was no walls no barriers or anything and my side was the sea and straight ahead there was no road 
and the, the road was as narrow as this book and I had to reverse and drive reverse and drive and every time I drove Chris was going stop reverse stop drive stop anyway there was this couple behind us walking their dog and every time I was going so I had to go forward to come back every time I would go back they would move to the left every time I drive forward and go back again they'd move right so then a 55 point turn and I ended up doing 55 point turn I have actually got a picture and I haven't showed you this have I Ange? no oh it's you see what I've done so I nearly killed Chris on our wedding anniversary. This is the picture. So you see, and I don't know whether YouTube is going to let me show it, but you see where those those little dots are the boat, and that road is where I drove down. I've got to wait that for it to catch up. So I can see it. Little road is where I drove down, and I got to about just there so you can see that there's no road here and i got to about for there and i had to go back and forth back and forth to come back out and drive back out was there yeah but you've done it I you've did. done it didn't you you're still here i did job yeah. but that is the road that i actually went down and it was only by off chance i was looking at the postcards i picked up but yeah stop this stop <laughs> <laughs> that was a pure that was a test of your marriage wasn't it oh i could have killed him can you imagine going away to yeah and knocking me back with her husband yeah yeah <laughs> yeah but you i mean when she does when she does a scenic route when she drives so fast you can't see anything oh angie said angie reckons they drive fast oh my goodness she said look at that look at the beautiful scenery i said blimey slow down so i can see it <laughs> right around the corner on two wheels oh i know see what i get right so sew the bottom and i'm gonna sew the middle fold now and that will be my little envelope and i'm gonna decorate it up um i'm gonna flick her over to angie though to see what she's up to obviously she's not driving into no sea i don't think well it won't be the first time but she's the very first time i passed my test my late husband he had a little van and it had it was he was a builder so we had a little van and it had one of the those external roof racks on it that stuck up so you could put the the glass on do you know what i mean you could put glass on the side yeah like a glazier's van but it was only a little one and we had we lived in a cul-de-sac and he said come on he said you passed your test he said you can drive my van i was really nervous mind and there was a chain link, chain link fence at the end of the road. And I reversed back, hooked it onto the chain, hooked <laughs> the thingy onto the chain fence and ended up dragging the fence <laughs> all the way down the road. Oh, you joking? Oh, yeah. Great. That that really, that made my confidence skyrocket. <laughs> it's going to stop. You've got the fence. You're taking the fence with you. Someone's fence out their garden. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, see what I mean? Rubbish driver I am. Well, I tell you, it's not as bad as me driving into the sea. Then we went for a scenic walk um, when we were in the um, hotel. Chris went, oh, let's walk down to the beach. All right, so we walked down to the beach and I could hear bang, bang, bang. And I'm like, what the hell is that noise? I looked off to my right and some there must have been like a youth club. They were shooting pellets in the sky. <laughs> Before they could say anything, there was a sign saying, please mind the golf balls over head with your head. <laughs> Can you imagine the newspaper coming a, a, a couple went to Tembi and they got killed with a pellet in one side of their head and a golf ball in the other. Golf ball in the other. <laughs> oh my word. Oh, no. oh. Well, only oh, us. So I've done some coffee dyed paper. I've done tea dyed and I've gone down coffee dyed. And I have to say, the coffee dyed paper absolutely honks. Yeah, it does. Okay. And 
I'm going to go back to tea because coffee dyed paper makes it look nice. Remind me to never get in a car with Andrew. No, you really don't want to, honestly. I've got um, I've got, what they call them dash cams now. My husband bought me a dash cam. And one day we were driving down towards this roundabout at the top of Filton. And if you come from Filton up a different way, there's traffic lights. But when we come along the top, I just thought there was traffic lights. So I saw the traffic lights um, further on on the roundabout. And they were on go. So we were approaching it. And you're supposed to give way, but I didn't even see that. And I all of a sudden, Tony went, stop, like that, screaming at me. And I, I slammed on the brakes. And he went, you can't give way. I was like, he said, you nearly smashed into that motorbike. I was like, oh, my God. So anyway, we played the footage back. It was hilarious. He, he was absolutely terrified. You could hear him screaming at the top of his voice, stop, like that. <laughs> oh, so I never anything, did I? Well, I was just like a Chris yesterday, your day, your day before yesterday. I was laughing. My knees was so funny. It's not funny, Colette. All right, I'm going to put some coffee stink paper, coffee smelling paper oh, coffee. on the inside of my file folder. How did you do it, Ange? Because what I did do with coffee, instead of putting warm water in, I put cold and I don't put hardly any coffee in there. Well, nobody told me that. What did you put it? Well, this is how I do it. So other people might do it different, but I do do a cold water and I do do about a half a teaspoon of coffee if I'm um, coffee dyeing a ton of papers. How did you coffee do Coffee dyeing what? A ton of paper? Yeah, you know, like five, say I'm coffee dyeing five, eight, four pieces of paper. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would use half a teaspoon of coffee and cold water. Oh, no, I use a lot more than that. I use some caramel coffee as well because I thought it'd make it smell nice. Uh, but it hasn't. How does everybody, does everybody else coffee dye? And how, if you do, how do you get rid of the smell if you do have a smell of coffee? Because you sometimes you can get that with um, coffee paper for sure. Right. Ladies, this is a public uh, announcement. You are safe for travelling on public transport. Do not under any circumstances deal with these two mad women. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! You, what you reckon, Colette? We ain't that bad, are we? Well, I, I reckon that's. I reckon that's a very um, judgmental comment, if I'm being honestly sad. No, no, I'm not, I'm not sure. Nobody told me that before I got in a car with you, did they? <laughs> I think I think I'm very safe to be in the car with, and nobody would get run over or land in the sea. I think um, it's no. just I, I think Chris was just um, being over overreacted, overreacted, totally yeah. overreacted. Totally overreacting. I would never landed him in the sea. Nobody would get run over or land in the sea. Getting him on the scenic route. I'll move my paper over because it looks like I'm, you can't see what I'm doing which is probably true so I'm putting my um I'm covering my coffee smelling paper for journaling on the back and then I'm gonna decorate it I don't know what we've mind this is fun, isn't it? Does anybody else like journaling? I'm just getting into this paper stuff. Right, I've done my two envelopes. So, so does every, do you want to see what I've been excited about all day, Anne? Yeah. You figured it out. I think I figured it out about five minutes. Ago. Oh, my God, Anne, you ain't more. I kind of can't tell you, can't tell you. She went, why? Can't tell you. I, can't. I can't tell you. Right, wait. Can you... Can I ask you a question? Can you um can you avocado dyed paper? Yes, you can. I have seen people do it and they have and it has come out really pretty. I've never tried it myself, but yes, you can do it. Because I got some avocado skins in the freezer and some of the, the nut things. What are they called? When stones. Oh did you, Lisa? I want to for I want to for holidays. Lisa bought a one-piece bathing suit yesterday. Oh, yeah, I've got a one-piece. I really like it. I feel really comfy in it. 
Do you know what I mean? It's like not all your bits ain't hanging out, especially when you're 61. Well, nearly 61 anyway. Right. Do you mind if I flicker over to me, Miss Pinky? Yeah, I thought you had. What, you do mind? Oh, yeah, I can flicker. No, no I don't mind at all. <laughs> not at all. It's, it's your show. It's a collab show. Run your mouth, then. <laughs> I lost to wear one. Um, case uh, Carla said, I'm loving the paper journaling, but it, it takes so much. Yeah, it does take a lot of time, doesn't it? I, I find it therapeutic. It's so there's paper everywhere. Yeah. There's paper all over the flat. My son came in last week and he said, have you got a cat? I said to Tony, have you got a cat? And he said, no. Why? He said, there's bits of paper everywhere. I said, why? Is that what cats do? Ah. I said, no, we haven't got a cat. That's Anne. He said, that's Anne chopping up bits of paper everywhere. Are we going back to you now? Yeah, you should. it should have gone back to me by now, which it does. Right, okay. So I had all my belly removed eight weeks ago. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Did. Do you remember it said telling us? Oh, she was having... Um... Do you remember? She did tell us eight years ago. A couple of weeks ago, she's still recovering. What is it like a tummy tuck? Um, no, what was it, Lisa? Only if you want yeah, to tell it, Lisa. Don't want to say, then don't say. But Lisa, no, you don't have to say. No, no. of um, course not. Definitely not. Sorry, I, um, I shouldn't have tried, really, should I? Um, and it, oh, I can't remember what he was, but only if you want to say. Um, say. Well, congratulations, anyway. Yeah. Obviously, you're on the mend, and if you've got yourself, yeah, big tummy tuck. No, you obviously got yourself um, into some good. sort of a good shape to be able to get a swimming costume. That's brilliant. It's good confidence. Lovely. Right. I have. We're on a bit of a journey, aren't we, Colette? Yeah, indeed. Yeah, indeed. Right. I've done my two envelopes. Now, the thing I was like buzzing about earlier is i worked out how to make my own 2d stickers oh, oh. stamps to put on my envelopes and how i did that was let me see if i can find a piece so i've got a piece of here now this is paper from Archie maze i've printed it on i'm trying to find a three stone right i printed it on vellum now I've printed it on two sides. So I put the um we'll have to have a look at your computer. My printer, I can't tell it to do two sides on the actual computer. I gotta tell it on the printer. We did oh. two sides and I thought that was lush. It's amazing. So I did that one. I did some postcards, which I'm gonna be doing tonight with you all. And they're quite see-through as well, which is what I liked about it and um, that was the other one i printed so a little strip whatever it's gone a strip of any which one you want where's my single one gone i'm going to cut a strip off well, all i can say is i can't wait for my computer to catch up so i can see what you're doing oh no, no, no. it's still it's still got me putting bits out Press the refresh on your screen, Ange. You know, right. you've got like a circle with an arrow. Yeah. Um, my surgeon is gorgeous and he's called David. Why, Lisa, why? I can't believe I, your, your confidence is amazing. In fact, you've spoken about it because not many people do speak about it they find it quite personal i think it's so encouraging and inspiring the fact you've spoke about it really is lost three like a tummy tuck with you when you like one collat amazing yeah tell david he's got a big line <laughs> waiting list <laughs> yeah yeah he's got a queue he's got a queue i asked him if it was because he liked Oh, bless him. Oh, bless Lisa. Right. Make my little stamps to go on my envelopes. Now, these can be popped into your journal pages. So, I've got some, what they call, foam pads. And I'm going to take, because I love this. 
I don't know how it came to me, but it just did earlier. Because I've been keeping my strips. I've been doing something with them, which I'm going to show you in a second what I've been doing. And then I'm doing two at a time. Place it on top like so. Cut this down. Um, this. And then to cut the middle bits. In there. Cut the middle bit. Lift one up. You can do one at a time if you wanted to. All right, and then you've got little stamps you've created for your envelopes. How cool are they? Really like them. I do, I do, I do I like them a lot. And I haven't cut them right to the sticky pad. I've left the gap. Do some more. By the Lily way, I'll be right back. Say again. Lily said she'll be right back. Oh. Um, by the way, Claire, the vellum you printed is absolutely beautiful. I'll show you again. It is stunning, Lisa. I, I completely agree with you. It's it turned out beautiful. Show it to me while I haven't seen it. Have you not seen it? No. Please, sorry, that was a bit rude. Of me, I'm going to just cut this down. I'll show everybody again. Um, Because I've been messing about with my printer to see if there's anything. Um, see if there's anything that I can print other than paper so this was the first one let me do that side now i love this paper i've done something with it i'm going to show you what i've done with it in a second i let youtube catch up as well That's a bit of a small stamp i suppose as well with these while i'm waiting for youtube to catch up you could go smaller with them small as you wanted to go look Right, so there's that one that is, and bear in mind, I've done them double sided as well. All right, there's this one with the postcards, which I'm going to cut out in a second now, and we're going to do something with that one. These are from Artie Mays. No, Sarah, it's not, it's vellum. I'll show you the packet. Well, how did you do that on vellum? Right, so I'll show you now how I did it. Thank you. I was asking him right okay so vellum comes like this this is how i my packet comes and it's by anita's and you get 10 sheets of vellum um and it's 120 gsm and it, i had it from the range and i think it was about a pound so these are exactly a4 um which makes it easier for when you're putting it in the printer because any smaller i always find it difficult to cut it down to put it in the printer but these are a4 and they come and i know angie asked about wax paper earlier which i'll get out in a second to show you the difference it comes crystal clear it's quite like tracing paper but it's a little bit thicker and it would be perfect to put into a journal because tracing paper is so thin um, this is quite thick, so you could do all sorts with vellum. That's how it comes. And then wax paper, which is what Angie was asking me about earlier, is... No. I've got some of that vellum pack. You can have. You, well, you can print on that, can you? Yeah, you can print it in your printer and just chuck it oh in your goodness. printer. I didn't know that. And print on it. Um, Ah, here's wax paper. So wax paper is a bit different. So wax paper is now I want to see if I can actually print on wax paper. I think I might experiment tonight actually on live and see that it does do it. Hoping it will. Wax paper is thinner. And mm -hmm. um, like tracing paper, you can draw on it, you can write on it. Um but it has got like a feel to it you know how tracing paper is quite thin and um 
it's almost like a tracing paper but with a different feel to it so i am going to pop, pop this in the printer in a minute see if we can print on it but vellum does definitely come out wax paper comes in a4 again i had it from the range and this comes in a pack of 10 i'm just on the look it doesn't tell me what the light, what, what the weight is, but that is quite light. It's light. It's light. What is, what's it called? If you go to advanced printer settings, Angie Page, you can select to print on vellum. Yes. Not on my, not on my printer. You can't, no. Lisa. Not on mine either. No. I got um A4 photo or something else. Mine's not got the cheap bog standard. Yeah, A4. You I can put an A4. You print a photo with mine and you can do something else but i don't get the option of like what paper i'm putting in or no, no. Uh, how to print it or anything like that but with these because they're a4 you can print on them so i'm gonna, ah. I'm gonna stick the wax paper in now i think with the wax paper it's gonna the ink is gonna take a little bit longer to dry because it's so thin and it's like tracing paper like this yeah um it's gonna take that little bit longer to dry i'm gonna pop one in a second but that's vellum vellum will do it quite completely and then i've also on vellum did my jars that i created these these are on the group um and i did these double-sided as well um and if I've got time tonight, I've got something that I want to do with. But these are double sided. Oh, yeah, double sided. And this one, I've only done one sided. So you, I'm, sure, I'm sure you've got time, haven't you? You can decide what. Or photo quality paper. Oh, I can do that. Photo, photo quality, quality paper. yeah. Photo quality paper. But no, no, I haven't got any like slow dry. What printer have you got, Lisa? I'm going to flick her over to Angie. I'm going to print something on the wax paper to show you what the difference is. Um, I made what, a mess. I've got a what, terrible mess here. <laughs> don't worry, Angie. What printer have you got, Lisa? Because I, I, I haven't got them options. And I know, Angie, you haven't got it either of you. No. Uh, you for vellum and all that. But vellum, you can definitely print on vellum. I'm going to stick my wax paper in and we'll go from there. And it is on you, by the way. All right, Dylan. Thank you. I um. So, if you can see what I'm doing, I've I've yeah. um put the coffee dyed paper on this bit, and then on the back, I've covered it with a bit of paper, and I've just put a bit of gesso on it. I'm letting that dry, and I'm going to do the other one. But I'm going to do the other one, um, and I'm going to put loads and loads of flowers, collage flowers. I got loads of flowers and birds and stuff, all sorts of stuff here. Just have a bit of fun with it, innit? Because I'm trying to find my own style. Oh, she's got a brother printer. It scans photocopies, etc. Oh, well. that's right. Uh, we haven't got... I, what have you got, Claire? I've got an Epson. Mine is HP. Uh, I'll tell you now where mine got. Chris has recently put my printer in my room. It was, it was by his desk, but I think he got... Uh, there's a method to his madness darling i know no it reminds hp but envy oh no, it's quite a good one yeah but it doesn't give me the options like um i think you can go into your your actual computer can't you and find um change the settings on there somehow i don't know i'm not very tech savvy so you could asking me i don't know why even he's saying that if i need to know anything i just says colette how'd you do this colette how'd you do that <laughs> right so those are my envelopes done would that be the front or the back i'm not sure does it matter it does not come in up come on I'm going to use that as a front. Right, I'm going to do some um, collage in. Um, so what I'm going to do. 
Oh, I've got some lovely images. Oh, Carla, I want to show Carla these. Hang on, where what have I done with them? Carla like fairies, don't she? Hang on. I can't find them. Got some flat. I got some flowers. Look at these images, ladies and gentlemen. How good! Are they from Lisa's Altered Arts? It's a digital download. It was ninety-eight pence for um, just this one sheet. And um, obviously, I just printed them out on copy paper. Copy paper, but I just think they're adorable. Sweet little cherubs. I love them. I'll be able to do them out on on material, won't I? Muslin. Yeah. Yeah, awesome muslin. So yeah, I'm going to give it a go at printing some of them out. But yeah, they're absolutely gorgeous. I love them. Right, it's a brother DCP J two five two W. Ah, right. I see. I see. Whatever that means. That means it's a good computer. A good printer. Yeah. Right. I'm going to do. Um, Has anybody tried to eco tank one? They're supposed to be good, aren't they? For ink. Yeah, it was right. The ink takes a while to download wax paper, but it has come out. It's just really faded. You want to see? Yeah. Um, Sometimes they're happy accidents, though, aren't they, Colette? Yeah. It, on, it would hard. look lovely on a page. Definitely. I'm bring Z off now. Oh, and what you like. Oh, I've got one here. I cut it out. That bird can go on there. It's definitely come out. It's just it's going to take, I think, if I, I could speed it up with the heat gun. Or I could just leave it. I think I'll leave mine. But, um, yeah, you could definitely do either or. I, I am going to make a little pocket envelope, put my envelopes in, if that makes any sort of sense. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. I don't know whether you're going to be able to pick it up. Let me put something underneath. Yes, you, they, they are there. It's just it's really faded. Um, but they would look lovely if they were dried and you could stamp on the top of them. And they are pictured of roses, but you could definitely put them into your journal. So it does work. Wax paper does work. It's just you're gonna get work very well. You're gonna get a real faded picture because it the wax paper is really, really thin. It hasn't got it. I don't like it. Hasn't got a, oh. Right, I'm going to now make. Um, I don't know whether to make something sewing or something. I think I'm going to do a bit of both. So what you should sew in. You should sew in. Lisa wants you to do sew in. What I've done recently is because I've been making lots of little bits and pieces. Um, any strips, so any like these, I've been ruffling them up. So let me do it so I'll show you. So I've been ruffling them up a bit like that and then sewing down the middle. And I've got this is all tea tea paper strips that I left had left over. And it's turned into I've made like a big ball of it and i'm hoping to make some more and put eventually put them on a spool what are they they're like little strips that you can add to your pages so i'm going to show you exactly how to do them so this is one of the images and i've all i've done it's folded it in half let me show you on this one folded it in half right so and then I folded this back in itself. But like when you're making a bird, an aeroplane. And then I just sewn down one side. And then that gives me then 
a little pocket there and i've also got the writing space inside so i'm now going to show you i'm going to show you how i come up with my little sewing pieces they're really easy to do and this is what i how do i do them so get my little um what you call it jar i've got tons of little jars of snippets wouldn't believe get my little jar and then i'd fish out something that would go with it and then i go from there and if you know me at all you know how i love my snippets and i've also got to show you um how sarah's thing turned out as well because i've been i have been adding to it i haven't yet finished it but i have been adding to it to so say decide where you want to go with it i think my piece is going to go you and then i just sew add some bits and pieces angie loves it when i do these kinds of things she wonders how i sort of sit there and do it and my answer is i i haven't got a clue you've asked me many a times about it haven't you how i sit there and sew i don't know you do it yeah no it just it amazes me I don't know what I've done to my picture, but I've got it spread right across the screen now and I can't see any chat. Oh, and oh, press um, on your keyboard, press it yeah. together, shift and the escape button. So ESC is on the top of your keyboard. Press I can shift. see escape. Where's shift? Right at the bottom of your keyboard on the left hand side down the bottom above uh, the center. And underneath capital locks. All right. Done it. Yeah, I don't know what I'm. I'm, I'm on Task Manager Chrome now. Oh. <laughs> oh, Ange. Oh, I'm useless. I'll shout the comments out. Um. Wow, well, love those images, Angie. So sweet, Carla says. Lisa says. I'm on that one. I'll refresh the whole thing. Okay. He says, I had to go upstairs to my sewing room to look at it. Found two of my cats balled out on the floor in there. Oh, bless. Watching Glassbury on TV whilst watching you ladies. Oh, is it on TV? Watch that every year without fail. Right. Oh. Everything's falling. Right, this is my other bag of scraps. <laughs> my word, scraps. Right, so let me find. Um, and I've got something to ask you, ladies. Now, I just asked Angie this, and Angie said, Oh, yeah, I think you should definitely do it. And I was like, Yeah, but it's tedious. She went, No, Claire, I think you should definitely do it. Um, I've got something to ask you. I started off doing a video. I don't think mom's watching. I know I don't think she is. Um, I started off doing um, a video of what I was waking my mum. And that was basically she gave me a sewing room. It fell apart. So instead of making her a sewing room, um, I'm now making her a sewing shop miniature. And I've been doing some bits and pieces on the side and i just showed angie some bits and pieces on my hands just yeah now. and she said why don't you do that in video and i'm like yeah but it's tedious and she said no flag you need to do one video because not many people do it and that what you've done is absolutely gorgeous my question to you all is a, you would see it, and B, would it be tedious? Now, if I did videos of what I had made, would it be tedious to? Well, I think it. To be fair, I mean, no disrespect to anybody on YouTube, but it's really nice to see what people have made. But it's also nice to see sometimes how they've done it. And you're you're such a good you're such a good presenter of your work. Um that you know people are interested in watching how you do things collect you know what i mean it's not just about it's about how you present it as well you know it's you're it's i find 
I find your videos quite interesting. Oh, thank you, Ange. I only said quite interesting, mind. <laughs> <laughs> Let me sew this together. Let me show you the miniatures and then you can help me decide whether to do it in video form or whether not to. But Ange, you reckon they should. Oh. Yeah, but it's, it, I mean, you showed it to me and I was like, well, how did you do that? You know, it looks amazing, but how did you do it? I wouldn't have the patience. Have you, Sarah, Lisa said, have you got planning permission? No, have I got planning? Just about. <laughs> right, this is the trolley that I've made. So we're making a her sewing shop. I picked out the wallpaper and it's all in red. Um, and Mum loved red and white. So what I've done is this is all miniature. I've painted the roses on and I've painted the trolley. The trolley was actually brown. So the colour you see the wheels, that's what the trolley was. And I've painted all this. So I've done all right little roses on the side. And as you turn around, I've done leaves and roses on this side. I haven't quite finished it off. But this is what I've done so far. Oh, Mrs. G. She's in She sent me a picture earlier on. Oh, my word. It looks like paradise. Oh, does it? This is what I've been doing. So I want to know, shall I do a picture or video of, would it be interesting for you guys to see what I've been making? This was the other thing that I've made. I need to put a little bit more on it. This is a sewing box, but I've made it to stand. Um, and I'm going to be filling in it full of like sewing bits and pieces. So again, I've done roses and some flowers coming up along here. It needs a little bit of glue because these are just stay panels really for the house. And I've made it to go under the box. And I need to put some flowers on that side. So this is what I've been making. So I want to know if if it's it would it be tedious by me doing a video, or would you find oh. it interesting? It's no good asking me because I you already know my answer. Yeah, and she's talking. Matt, I did that the other day because I've been going back and forth to did it. You did you want to sit down and show us how to was it did you show us how to do a, a rose a tiny yeah, miniature rose I think, I think i did was that on facebook i can't remember i can't remember if you showed me or you showed us no i think i showed it on a video but I, again i like you say i can't whether I, I don't know whether i've done it if i show this on a video i will show you how i've how i've done those roses and leaves they are really yeah. simple. They're not difficult. I promise you, they're not. Um, yeah, easy for you to say. She, she was going to say that, but I wanted to know: Would you find it tedious me showing you in a video? Obviously, I wouldn't sit down and go through eight to ten because it would be a bit boring. Me doing every single rose, but um, I want to know: Would it be interesting to see what I'm thinking? How the process of the shop is coming along and um whether you're finding it interesting that kind of thing no it will be very interesting to see you doing your miniatures oh wow thank you yeah. Ian. ARC Pauline's on my on my side she's on my wavelength thank you so much I also I just spotted this on my tray is I've painted a little wheelbarrow red I think it's good content for your channel as well for that because there's not many people that do i don't know not that i've not not i'm not saying there's not many people i've not seen many people doing miniatures like that but maybe that's because i've never searched for it i don't know but yeah. it's still crafting whatever way you look at it, isn't it yeah i just didn't know whether it would be tedious because you all all you ladies see for me is paper and sewing and i didn't want to sort of bore you with the miniature side of it but thank you so much Pauline. you never bore us oh Say again, Rian. Um, again, Rian and Jeez, because I'm reading comments. I said you could never bore us. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Uh, Rian said, it's good content. Angie's absolutely right. Thank you, Miss Rian. That's the wheelbarrow that belongs to the borrower. Yes, it is a mini wheelbarrow. Um, I'm going to put white dots and some flowers on it. But yes, it's got. I've got also. I've got miniature flowers. And um, when I was into proper miniature making, um, the one thing I was sort of n known for on the miniature groups was my miniature flowers. Oh, they, yeah, amazing. Happy. So yeah. All right then, since you all uh, sort of think that I should do a video, I will. I'll do a process video of how it's coming along and, you know, where I'm at and everything. Thank you so much for all your opinions. They do matter, they matter a lot. And um, it's just, I just sit there and think, oh, it is it tedious? But thank you so much. I do appreciate it. It's quite all right, anytime. Right, would you like to see Sarah's... Um, um, I'm showing you everything tonight. Yes, please. Yes, please. Um, Lisa wants to know where you get your miniatures from, Colette. I'm in miniatures. Oh, well, all, all sorts of places. eBay is the best place to get miniatures. And I tend to buy them in job lots. Again, because it's cheaper, like laces and paper, to buy them in job lots. And then I had to paint them up. That little mini wheelbarrow was in a job lot. Nobody wanted it. And... um. Yeah, that's how I did it. Um, the Sarah's sewing thing. Yes, what's it called? Well, the sewing machine cover. Not a thing. I was thinking, what, what's it called? What's it called? Right. Been adding to it. Sarah hasn't even seen her, so I don't. I don't think I've shown Sarah, have I? Right. The waiters can take me can't take me seriously, Lisa. My Spanish is limited to Bombay sapphire and tonic. Thank you. And the bill, please. Oh bless. She's Lisa said, do you collect them from your mum's house, Colette? Hey? Eh? I do. <laughs> I do I do, yeah, because I'm now for pinching things off Mount Manai. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I get it. I am. Um, I do slow. I tell you what I do get off mum is her stones from out her front, which she doesn't know about. Yeah, and everything she likes, she fancies. Yeah, her mother comes down, she's wearing her cardigans. Broken jewellery, I nab that to put them in miniatures. Uh anything really anything really that I can put in. <laughs> right, let me show you. This is your terrace. This is how I I so I came off live last week and I was like Oh, that doesn't look right. I'm not happy with it. I'm not happy with it. So what I've done is I've started to do this. It's a, a, a sort of a process. I began to do a border. Now, um, I've forgotten what type of border it's called, but it's where you, instead of sewing, let me move this jar, instead of sewing sort of fabrics together, so you would get a piece of, I mean, let me move some stuff up the way. So you would get a piece of fabric and you would sew it together. So say, for example, I'm getting there, I promise. So say, for example, you would sew that together, wouldn't you? And then you would move on to the next piece. The border is done where you have to do it back to back. And then you would flip that over and then you would get another piece and do it back different ways and then you do it like that so you never actually see the stitches until you you know you put laces or whatever you want to put on there so that's how it's done and i forget what lisa might know what um what is actually called when you do it like that but you can see where i've sewn there and you don't have to be neat with it either and then you fold it over and then i'd get a piece there and fold it over but yes stitch and flip is it? There we are. I knew you'd know what it was. Stitch and flip. And I've put um some beads in the jar to make it more interesting. Oh, I love the beads in the jar. Yeah, They're that's cute. What I've got with it so far. It's gonna be one of them projects where I think I'm gonna do a little bit, and come back to it, do a little bit, and come back to it because I really am enjoying it. And I don't want to mess it up if I'm all honest. So yes, this is Sarah's um cover to her machine. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Rian. 
thank you everybody know about the stones you do miss free and you do indeed right i'm gonna this is my little piece to go here i'm gonna flip oh. up manji now because i want to see what she's up to in a second well, i've got a lot of paper i've got a lot of paper around me i'm gonna um stitch that before i do i'm gonna hand stitch um some beads in or like a little, something a little small and that's usually found in my box that Angie made me ages ago lisa's I, gotta go all right so oh, um, goodbye, lisa thank you for bye, lisa. so in this box there's loads of things so i always pick something out there and then i'm sewing onto there to sew it onto there that's what I'm going to do. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to flick her over to Miss Paisley because she has been busy. I've been here and I tear up paper and all. Oh, sorry about that. I tried to move away to ah, tear sorry. it. Lunch. That's fine. Uh, YouTube should flick her over in a second. But thank you all for all your lovely comments. It means a lot. Um, And I will do the process. Now you've said it, I will do it. So thank you so much, ladies. Right, it's my turn to rattle around now. Well, I don't know when it's coming on me, but um as soon as I can see what, what you can say, I'll um explain that. Is it on me yet? It should be. Yes. Right, so this is my second file folder. A bit messy on the inside, but I'm putting nothing on it yet. So on the outside, as you could probably hear, I was ripping up lots of pieces of paper. And um, I, this is off of one um, digi kit, and this is off another one. And yet again, I still ca I can't remember where I bought them from. I think it was J. Lou. J. Lou, I think it was. But I'll have to go back on Tommy Digis on my Etsy and have a look to see what they're printed off. And so it's just just to talk to you, but Rian's asking you what you're making. Um, I'm making some file folders um Rian, some ephemera i got um this is a template from the back of one of my graphic 45 pads and there was templates on there for that and there was also um this one whatever that is i can't remember what that was now an envelope obviously and there was little little um trading card is it trading cards act cards or something yeah and then there was little there was little um for fan for tags as well a a atc cards yeah artist trading card that's it that's it so yeah so i've i just cut two out with some card i decorated one but i can't find it it's buried under air somewhere I decorated one where I just covered it with a piece of paper and then I put a little bit of gesso on it just to gesso it up and then I put some coffee dyed paper, coffee smelling paper on the inside and I want to do some lines but I need some, some of that corrugated card because I haven't got a stamp that does lines so I'm looking for a piece of corrugated card so I'll get a bit from work I think we've got loads of cardboard at work because the stuff that Amazon sends you ain't corrugated it's rude, isn't it? It's rude. So yeah, I'll just put some lines on that and I'm going to decorate that. And then the second one I cut out, which is a bit messy on this side, but it'll be covered. I'm doing the outside at the moment. Um, and I just did, it, it's a bit, I think they call it collaging, don't they, where you rip, yeah. rip, rip bits off and stick them in wherever you want. But I didn't really print enough of this paper off, to be fair. So oh, I've got some, I've got some, I've got lots of flowers, I've got lots of roses, so I could probably rip some of them and stick them on as well. So that was me ripping paper, which I love doing, but this is matte photo paper, so it's hard to rip. But yeah, this is what I'm doing at the moment. And then I'm going to gesso over this as well, just to shabby it up. And then that's ready for decorating. So it's a good idea what i have been doing because i've been doing lots of little bits of ephemera practicing and trying to find a style i like um just to to do that and then then decorate it up after with bits of lace and ribbons and flowers 
the okay. Angie, they are great for pocket letters too, Angie. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've just done my very first journal page, which was for Carla for her challenge. I can't show you that because that's been sent. It's been sent off. So I'm hoping it'll come. In, it'll turn up in time. It's been sent off on Monday. I can't show you that, but I had a lot of fun making it. And I've been watching lots of YouTubers as well. Lots of inspiration. I tell you what I've watched this week, and I was so inspired by. Um, what? Well, while I'm telling you, what? Think of a video that you've been inspired by. Not just you, Angie, but everyone else that you've been inspired by this week. That you've been like, "Wow, that's amazing! I wish I could do that. I wish I could, I want to do." Because one of the videos I've been inspired to do, I was watching Mrs. Cogs. Oh my word! Yeah. Sarah told me about it. So, Sarah, this is your fault while I'm telling you the story. She sent me a video of Mrs. Coggs had had a parcel. And, oh, my word, it was amazing. She had had this parcel and she had made a, a Harry Potter journal. But they had done it. And one of the characters in the Fantastic Beasts, which is part of Harry Potter, but it's not a Harry Potter collection. And there's a character in there called Newt, and he's got a suitcase, and he's coming into America. But of course, he doesn't want the Muggles, and the Muggles are people that are non-magic, to know that he is part of magic. So he brings in this suitcase into America, and he clicks on the suitcase so that when the guard opens it, all his clothes are folded. Why I'm telling you this story is because. This lady who'd sent Mrs. Cog a Harry Potter journal, she'd made the suitcase and she'd made the little clip on the front where he clicks it to show All that right. the clothes are folded. Oh my word, she opened the suitcase and on the top was all the way she'd done it was it looked like all their like clothes folded. And then you lifted the top out, and then underneath was um Harry Potter journals. Oh my word, it was amazing. It was amazing. Was it? Oh, um, I don't like that. It's like a, it's like um, it doesn't look like a butterfly to me. It's like a maggot. I don't like any of them. So, what video have you watched this weekend? You can like. Uh, I've been watching, I've been really watching crafting videos, have I? I've been watching um, that Chinese woman cutting poodles hair. So that's not really going to help, is it? Has anybody else been watching videos this week that they want to share with us? Because that's got to be my favourite one. My week, my, and that's got to be my, this week's inspiration video and that's what i'm gonna do from now on on the lives is give you an inspiration video that i've been watching that's and a that's, good idea that's gonna be this this week is gonna be that for sure oh i don't know i quite like the color of that it's put me on the spot that is now ah. a lady called lisa made it for a swap with her it's amazing yes I haven't watched much this week, been busy. We'll be catching up soon. I've not watched much, but I'm hoping to catch up whilst crafting on Sunday. Ah, see. Yeah, I get I get distracted when I some pops up on my, you know, suggested whatever, and I get distracted and I binge watch this all this, this mindless stuff about this woman cutting poodle's hair. Yeah, it was um it was they were really cute, like, like little teddy bears. And I was like, oh, my God, I want one. But obviously, I can't have one because I work I work in Tony work, so we're not, that's not happening. When we retire, we're going to have a little baby. I just want something to love. I miss having something to love. Something fluffy, like Rosie. Like Rosie. Yeah. White and fluffy. Yeah, so. Well, I've, I've nearly finished what I'm making, and I'm going to move on to something a little bit else in a second. A little bit more interested in me cutting out a butterfly. 
Do you want to see what I've been making? I've already cut his antenna off. What do you do when you fussy cut butterflies? Do you cut the antenna off or not? Uh, well, it depends. If they're thin, then yes. Because I do think, well, I don't particularly want to, I'm not, you know, I like fussy cutting, but no, that's taking a step too far. Yeah, Sarah said she's had the watch she's watched the the woman who teaches you how to declutter and reorganize it's great to watch but you never would never work here in practice absolutely true yeah you get a little bit of spirit for a little while and then you think oh this is hard work let's just sit down and watch her doing it i go, I, I go from one extreme to the other though because i i go from um when I want to declutter, I want to throw everything away, and then afterwards I think, "Oh, I wish I'd, I wish I'd thrown that out now." Just having a drink. What do you think of my bug? It's very juicy very bug. Oh, I don't know. I do like your file folder, and it's very pretty. Yeah, I'm not sure about me, me, me better, but I don't like it. See, I'm attracted to I'm trying to cut the same one out again. No, don't do it. Let's find something else. That's the envelope I started. The flowers on. Um, where's my... Oh. I've made lots of ephemera. Yeah. Yeah, should I put a bird on? Or two birds? Hmm. I don't know. Right, let's get some lace. I'll just go to my lace station. Lace station. I'll be with you now. Can I flick it over to me? Yeah, but just get some lace. See, there are a lot of crinkling bags. Right. Now, I'm going to show you what I've done. Because I've sort of done like a little pack sort of thing. Um, What have we done? Not doing it. It's... There. You should flicker over. Fill it in a basket and iron it when you need it. Yeah, that's what I do. do. What's that? Right. Put it in a basket and then iron it when you need to. Oh, no. Yeah, apparently you can roll it up as well because it makes makes more room but right so what i've done is i've put some um scraps on here and i've put some dandelies this is what i made earlier now all this is is a piece of paper i cornered the punch and i've done the lines with the sewing machine so you can write on the back and then on the front i've done exactly the same as i've done the envelopes stuck some dried flowers but i've actually stamped on the front as well on that one and then that tucks in there like so i put one of my new stickers at the bottom there and i'm just about to put um some more of these stickers that i've just made um sugar. Um, and here now because these are obviously double-sided I don't want the double sidedness to I don't want the top to come off the sticker so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the top in a second so that if it did ever come off it's not going to because I've glued it make sure these are just 3d little um what do you call them little doodles i don't can't remember what you call them pads 2d pads see how cool are they 
so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them down so I should have done it while I was doing it actually and I never thought of it take the top if it comes I don't know whether it will no it's not, no it's not coming perhaps I don't need to screw them no No, I don't need to glue one. Well, that's only one job I don't have to do. And I'm going to cut this down. And then I'm going to put them then like a little thing in here. Like that. And then the the envelope I've done, I've just put some lined paper and zigzag stitch it on that. It's an open envelope. And I'm going to hook it in, inside of that. I have made another one, whatever it's gone. Ah, here we go. This one hasn't got any lined paper, but it's just plain on the front. Because this would be bigger. that one first and then I'm going to put that one over the top like so and that's going to be something I can put in the in the journal but because I've let's keep coming out because I'm going to put those envelopes there that's not going to leave much writing space here so, because it's not, I'm going to make some writing space for that to happen. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to do straight lines. You can either do straight lines and write across. Or I have got... Somewhere is a madness. I've got the same uh, picture, but the lines are going the right way. And I'm going to take the picture and I'm going to cut the lines out. Uh, put this down, put this down, decide where I want it to go, how far I want it to go. Here's my lines. And then I'm going to stitch that then on there with a real small zigzag stitch. And those are my two envelopes to go on the inside. Stickers have come out a minute. And I'm going to make a paper clip in a second as well. So I'm going to move it over to Angie while I stitch this. And I'm going to get a paper clip out um, because I've also got something else to show you that I've been working with. Oh, I want to do do a paper clip because I got a paper clip out yesterday and just was scratching my head looking at it. Oh, Ange. Because I'm I'm only learning, you see, so I'm just learning the basics at the moment. Oh, and well, you can see me do a paper clip by all means. If you're coming back to me, um, not a lot has happened. Yeah, I've flipped it back over to you. All right, I'm just covering the back of it now with... The hue glue is not very sticky. Why don't I need to get so much stickier? What did you stick your paper on, my Colette? Tacky glue, brown. Ah, I got some of that. I should have used that, shouldn't I? Mm. Ah. Do you... Why, will make, why are you sticking... Why are you using you, you know glue, or whatever it's called? You who? Yeah, I don't know. I just saw everybody using it, so I thought I'd use oh, it. I see. I think there was just a special reason why I left. This stuff, it's like, um, it says, oh, it says it in strong and fast. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I've just backed my file folder. Should I put some papers in this, like a book? I don't know what a file folder is. 
Well, you could you could well you could either do two things. You could put paper in if you wanted to. Yeah. Or you could um put some writing paper in so you just write inside it. Does is this something that you would put inside a signature? Right. Let me show you what I would use it for to give you some sort of an inspiration because I got something to show you all that I've been working with. Uh, I haven't showed anybody actually. Um, Ariane's going now. She said she's Hi, got a big day tomorrow. tomorrow. Big day tomorrow. Yeah, rest in there. I I will be thinking of you. Oh, bless her. Right, I'm going to show you this one thing. So, as you all know, me and I went away for our anniversary. And in the morning, we had breakfast, of course. And our breakfast was a part of our package. So, what I did in Christmas, what are you doing? I nabbed the buffet. She had, she had everything on the buffet, is what she did. I did. I went back for more. I did. And I went back for seconds because I was starving. But I nabbed the boxes. And the reason I did that was because I saw a book cover. Now, they ain't very big. So I've started putting some pages. So I want to show you some sort of an idea what you can do with your pages and what I've been doing with mine. So to give you some sort of some some, some sort of inspiration, this is just one piece of paper torn. As you saw, I've been printing that on vellum. Stick the vellum to your paper. Now I'm gonna eventually do like a wavy stitch. To look as if I've stitched it, but I have actually used tacky glue to stitch it, and then I've torn the paper and I've stuck it on the top, so there's like a, a see through in the middle. But that's what that one is. The second right. page, I've made a file folder out of a page. So, you know, you were just asking me about a file folder, what I would do with it. So, what I would, uh, what I'm going to do with mine is I'm going to use it as a page. Now, bear in mind, this is glossy because it's got photos on. And I'm going to actually stick some a piece of paper on there. And I'm going to use my machine to make lines so I could write on. And the inside, I'm going to keep the images as much as I can. But um, I might collage it or I might like add an envelope. I could add some of this on the edge. So that's what I would use a file folder for. The other thing as well you can do because i doubled mine over is you could take whatever you want to take vellum is quite good to use and you can make little pockets and sew the pockets so you've got something to put under the pocket on the inside of a file folder you could also make the file folder into a mini book and put that in a pocket on one of your pages so that's to give you some sort of right then I've I'll got to watch that back because I my YouTube my YouTube's terrible tonight. Oh, I'm not up at all. Hang on, let's refresh it again. Didn't catch any of that? Oh, I heard it all, but I didn't see it. Tell me when you see it. I'll go back. To I can it. watch the video back anyway. I'll probably watch it back later. Okay. Um, I've got some more little pages of tea dyed. This is handmade paper I've got in. Again, this page, all these pages. Ah, right, okay. A page I've torn, put the vellum on, and I've stuck it. So again, I've got that see-through thing going on. Um, this is what I'm on about the lines, where you can draw lines with your machine, so you can write on. Um, so that's that, because it goes through the other side. Then I use the exact same piece, only had a strip. But the, instead of using it in the centre of the page, I've used it on the end. And I'll go back later and I'll use like a zigzag or like a wavy stitch and I'll put it on the end. And then I've got a little small page there. But that is my start of my little journal I'm making for myself. So when you ask me about a file folder, can you see it, Ange? Yes. Right. So a file folder, you can you can have like a plain piece of paper and stick that on to make some writing space. You can um, use your writing space inside if you want to. You could get some vellum or any or glassine bag or something like that and make a yeah. pocket. So you can make like a tag to go behind your pocket and decorate the vellum. 
You could yeah, put... I really like that idea, yeah. especially the vellum. That's really cool. Yeah, see... I like that, how you stitch that. Yeah, because you can see through it. And, like, you could do something like this, but on, oh, your, yeah. on your file folder. Oh, yeah. Oh, loads of ideas. Loads of ideas. Thank you. Oh, it's a little mini book I'm making for myself, and I'm just adding to it as I go, but I wanted to sort of show you all. So um, is, there, is there people that have just got a natural crafting for paper? Yeah, I thought that, because some people, when I watch others do it, they are so talented with their journals, it's unbelievable. It's just, so, it's such a lot, it is a lot of work, isn't it? It do. is. It is. Yeah. You said you were going off your, you were going off, I'm just reading comments. You were going off the journal I made you for Christmas. Yes. Sarah yeah. says, only thing I iron is fabric projects occasionally when I have to. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only time the iron comes oh. out. So that's my little thing. My paper clip. You are asking about paper clips? Yes, I want to see a paper clip, please. So I've got some of these paper clips that I've just pre I've done these and I did make some up and then I keep them on the side. So how I make my paper clips are these are sort of side ones, is you get some strips, you fold it over the paper clip and then you stitch it on the top. And that's oh. all that it is to that. This one, um, I always get confused what way they go. So these would go instead of having a side, they'd go like that. And my stickers that I've just made. So you just fold it over the paper clip and you stitch over the top. That's my little tiny paper clips that I make. But yeah, that's what I've done sort of tonight to show you all tonight. And of course the journal and my vellum printing on the notes. Vellum. So I'm gonna flick over to Miss Paisy to see what she's been doing. Cause I I know we've been on me quite a lot tonight. Well, that's all right. I, I am really, uh, to be honest with you, I'm, I, all I've been doing is a little bit of making the file folders and decorating the fronts of them, but I haven't really done anything else. No. It's like I'm watching you. But no, it's, no, it's all right. It's fine. I just, um, I'm just feeling my way with it. It's, I do feel a bit overwhelmed, to be fair. It's, and like I've said to you before, it's because you, I think it's because. You've done bits and pieces for a journal, but you've never made a journal. Does that no. make sense? And because yeah. you've never made something, it's new. So I, I could show the ladies some ephemera that I've already made, couldn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. You showed me them and they were I thought they were brilliant. But no, I, I when I'm when my crafting it evolves, it doesn't I if I'm doing something where I'm showing everybody how to do something or how, how I've done something. I know how to do it, but with this crafting, it's evolving. So I tend to make a piece and then put it to one side and then think, right, okay, oh, I know what I'll do. I'll go back to that and do so. And yeah. And so, so I don't, yeah, so I don't work on pieces like that. And then I add bits to it because it's like, I don't know, it's fun. It is fun. So. I'll show you some ephemera I've already made, yeah. I think. So I started with this envelope. It was just a piece of, um, this is tea dyed, which just smells nice. And um, I did um, rip some papers and then just stuck them on. I think, no, that was a napkin. And I put a piece of lace across there and I put a little bit of material there. But it's, as I say, it's something I'm going to go back to. So it's just starting out, and I put a backing on that, but I don't know what that what that was. I don't remember. So that's a little envelope that I made. Um, I got a whole box full here. Uh, I made with some pages. 
I made this little this little um this is just a book page that I folded up and then oh I think I stuck two book pages together and then I to open it up I did that piece there for journaling and I could put a piece there and a piece there for journaling couldn't I I really like that idea yeah and then the front flips up and I did a little cut out of there and then I just um ripped out little pieces of paper and look that ripped, ripped that one out and it came out in a heart shape and I just stuck them on so that that there is going to go in on a journal page and it'll be stuck down there and there and there and there'll be you'll be able to tuck something in there tags or whatever yeah so that's that but actually thinking about it, I could put some coffee dyed paper or tea dyed yeah. paper on there couldn't I for journaling yeah. thinking yeah. about it. that was another bit I did Stop me if this is boring. No, no, I like the I like those pages that you've made. I think they so would. These be, are, you know, my start of index cards, and that's just basically just the same thing. Ripping, but I don't know why I'm tractors and ripping up pieces of paper and sticking them on. I don't know why. I just love it. Are you enjoying the journal side of it? Yes, I am. It's just like you said. This side of it is totally different to making the actual journal, isn't it? Yes. Um, so yeah, that's just like little bits of paper. This piece here was actually a piece of lace that I I scanned on my my um, printer. Right. And then, uh, yeah, and then I cut, I ripped it and put it on there. So because I was like, oh my god, you can and that bit there, that was a doily that I scanned. Yeah, I know, when you figured that out, I, I was, um, I was like, oh my word! I remember we were we really chatting. Yeah, I was really excited. Yeah, and you were really excited to see the the end result. That's the index card that I just put some book paper on and covered. And let me show. Where's my the one I did where it was a pull down flap jobby. Oh, this little book. I love this little book. This is some I saw another YouTuber do, but I can't remember what it was now. This was just a book page that I covered. And then it's got a pocket there, a pocket there, and then two flaps. I think it might, it could have been Gail. Gail, Ag oh, I can't think of her name now. Mm, no. Gostin Gostin Ellie, Gail Ag so I think it was her. Yeah, so you can put a tag in there and a tag in there. That's beautiful. I like I'm that. Yeah, that. You can do so many things with that. Yeah. You could like you could add what your you could add your file folder to that, could you not? Could I? I think you could. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, but I've got a whole whole box for ladies and gentlemen. Stuff I ready to go as well, ready to carry on carry on with oh i'll show you me three me three envelopey thing that's it then so this was three envelopes that i made and they're they're supposed to have turned out all the same size but one of them turned out a bit smaller than the rest yeah and i did it on just a piece of paper and i just stuck little bits of butterflies this has got you can tuck that one in there Got a little strip on it. I saw that another YouTuber do this as well, but I, I can't remember it was. But I just been having fun. I've been real, having real fun, and I stitched them all on as well individually. That's, I like the butterflies and the flowers on that. Yeah, that's pretty. Well, the butterfly one was my favourite, but then I ran out of butterflies, and I, I thought I'd just make it's just make a mine. Yeah, it's trying to. Um, oh, it's good fun. I like that, Ange. I really possibilities are endless, aren't they? Send that as um, a happy mail, just as it is. Could you? Yeah, of course you could. Say you were doing a swap and you wanted to add like ephemera to your site, or you wanted to send a little something, you could just send that as it is. Does that make sense? Yeah. I think definitely. Carla said, "Wow, those are awesome, Angie." Oh, thank you, Carla. I was like, I'm, I don't know. I just, I because I'm only just starting it. It's just like, oh, do you know what I mean? 
yeah it's just overwhelming it's it's not that it's exciting i do love it but there's just so much to choose from do you know what yeah. i mean it's just like there isn't anything with journaling that you can sort of put your finger on it. no you could that's it i just really love i'm gonna pick i'm gonna pick a theme and i'm just gonna make a journal because i've started making my journal over there and i've not really it's i'm not really felt it because it's not themed in the right way. Anyway, you'll see Carla when you get your journal page off of me. Yeah, yeah. I um I really enjoyed doing that. It's good fun. So I hope you I hope you like. It. I'm sure you like it anyway. Yeah, yeah I'm sure she will. Carla will definitely like it. It's come from you. Hey, pardon? It's come from you, Carla. I would love it because it's come from you. Oh, bless. Thank you, Claire. What a lovely thing to say. And these are supposed to be library tickets. Like, obviously, I've stuck them down. That's what the lady called them, library tickets. I mean, she showed, oh, it was Gail again at Gostinelli. She, okay. yeah. So some of it I don't understand yet. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll like learn. I will learn. Get in but, there. Yeah. Have fun. I, I, anyway. You've made Let's tonight. Back to you now. I like the folder you've made tonight. It's really, really pretty. And I bet you're not finished with it. I bet you'll add more. No, no, I'm nowhere near finished with it yet. I'm going to put some little flowers on it and some lace and hurry on with that. Well, um, I've had fun tonight. We did a mix, mix what, what did I call it? A mashup of different things and showed you different things and different opportunities and what you could achieve with like paper and fabric and all sorts. And um, I love these little stickers. I absolutely love them. And I don't know what made me think to make them. They're almost like a little 2D. 2D. Did you show us how to make them? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. All you need is your stickers and a piece of paper and you layer it on top. You obviously peel one side, layer it on top and you just cut it out. So as basic as it is. So when you say stickers, what do you mean? They're like, oh, I don't know what they're called. They're like, do 2D, you know, the things that you put. You When you make cards, you put them underneath a piece of paper to raise them. They're called 2D pads. Oh, them. them. Yeah them and then you take the peeling off you put your paper on i use my strips that i had left over and then you just cut them and then oh my goodness that's yeah. what a good idea that's my only sticker Yay. Take more of them for sure well, you're the brains of the outfit isn't it oh and um my the envelopes and i know Dee said she's been making some of these um and me too and there's lots of journal in space for there and that's what the vellum looks like so definitely have a go with that because there's so much fun when you print it out this yeah, I'm going through. is just pieces of paper rather than that like i said i'm going to continue making more of this until i get a reel and one i can't even remember who did it she did it in different colors so she had one for tea dyeing one for pinks one for multicoloring, one for woodland so she could pick it up and I've used a little bit for this. Going, okay. um, so Carla said she's surrounded by all her paper and journaling stuff and kind of and I'm kind of stuck. There are so oh, many directions I could go and is. frozen and not creating anything. Yeah, I know that one, Carla. I do know I've been I've had I've had that for a while, and I collect yeah absolute craft block. My tip I said to Angie was don't look at the journal as a book because you'll get totally overwhelmed with it pick um start picking up like little things like start making like little bits of ephemera whether it's tags i know they're so simple to make and you think oh i don't want to do that so simple but honestly sit down and just make some tags and make some envelopes and make some um flowers some flat flowers you're really good at making flowers carlos so make some of them and then get a pile and what i did do and andy doesn't even know about this so you're a top secret is I oh. have a little stash and i keep my little stash of things that i've made for the journal or things that i want to go in or on the journal and that's my little stash and i always keep 
my little stash on the side of my table so that when I want to grab something like that paper clip, I've got it. But start small and work your way up. That's the only way I can say to you. Um, Carla's made some gorgeous though yeah. journals already, haven't you? You made some beautiful things for me. So start with the things that you made for me. Um, but don't get overwhelmed with just thinking of it as a book because that's where you uh, she just said she's got all the stuff made, she just needs to put it all together. Yeah. Well, we I'm gonna leave you all. Thank you yes. for joining me tonight. Oh, thank you for having me. It was lovely. And I will um hope we've inspired you all. Hope we've inspired you all. I'm definitely going to give that folder that Angie's been making tonight um, a go because I think that is such a wonderful thing to make and something that every person should have in their journal. And um, yeah, back to my sewing next week on Sarah's sewing yeah. cover because I know you're all eager to say. And thank you for all the wonderful comments and Angie for um, the miniatures. I'll definitely do some videos and... Um, show you the process of the miniatures making and how i'm getting on with the shop and things like that so thank you very much thank you miss pacey for all the lovely uh, words that you've said tonight kind words and oh you're welcome you know um, me only speak the truth you speak the truth i'll pay you later mind yeah you owe me a tenner <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, we'll love and leave you all till next week um and yeah, have a lovely rest of the week wherever you are in the world. Um, and I hope you have a lovely week. And a weekend. Right. It's supposed to be hot, so yeah. Yay. Wavy. Um, good night, Miss Paisy. Good night, Miss Colette. Good night. Have a lovely weekend, everybody. And we will speak to you all soon. Bye. Bye, Bye for now, everyone. Bye.